Eric can kind of adapt to any situation. We're in the middle of the mall, guys. <laughs> We're talking about adjusting to difficult scenarios. This is brand new. Look at the setting we've got. People just going about their normal shopping day. Oh, by the way, the women's world, the best in the world here. Female bowlers are on display. And people just stopping by to check it out. That shot off the mark from Leanne. Seven pin count, but a huge lead here. As she tries to advance to the next round. She's won one already, as did Sarah over Linda Barnes. One game matches, winner goes on, loser is done. Unfortunately, that wasn't Leanne's best shot right there. It seems to be that almost every shot that goes high, she's she's a little bit off balance at the foul line, which probably means she's getting a little bit quick with her feet. Her body gets forward a little bit, and at that point, she's out of balance, falls off the shot to the right, thumb goes down, and, and the ball goes left. Finishes up her seventh frame nicely. Chris, how do you think you'd fare in this mall setting? Well, it's, it is such a unique setting. Uh, there's certainly a lot of distractions. You'd have to really be on your game mentally to, to focus here. You have, you have all the, the stores everywhere. You have people walking around the second level. Occasionally you get a picture from here or there. Uh, people floating in and out of, uh, of, the, of the arena. And uh, you watch this. This ball looks like it's almost going in the gutter. And uh, all world that she is, hooks back, makes the spare, keeps her lead at 47 pins and forces Sarah to do some striking to catch up. Eight frame, works on There's a mark. Her spare and has nine down, number seven stands for Sarah. Well, here she made a pretty good shot. She's moved left again. Uh, her target is actually, she crosses almost the same board as the shot before her angle through the front of the lane is much more to the right. Th goes light. Ball misses the five on the way by, which is what you needed. You need that five pin to go right into that seven. Didn't happen. And has the seven pin there. So Chris next up for Sarah. She's going to Saudi Arabia, as we said. She met a prince in Kuwait. And she'll get to start a kids bowling program specifically for girls. How do you think she'll fare over there in terms of being a coach? Well, the amount of knowledge she's picked up over the last couple of years, in addition to Wichita State, and her, her experiences with Columbia should give her a, a pretty wide array of knowledge and uh, should be able to pass on a lot to kids. She also just has pure fundamentals and a great attitude. Look at her. End of September, heading to the Middle East. What an interesting experience that'll be. And has her mind on continuing rolling through this competition, Tom, right now. With a baby screaming in the background. <laughs> distraction? What distraction for Leanne Barrett? She's got a big lead over Sarah Vargas from Columbia. 48 pins, in fact, on the way to the next round. Saturday, the Coliseum SBC Masters. Test yourself against the best by entering the PBA's first major championship of the season. By the Team Masters, America's premier high school championship event. And by Southwest Airlines, the official airline of the USBC Women's Challenge. 16 of the world's best female bowlers on center stage here in Las Vegas. PWBA, amateur legends, dozens of titles among our competitors here. That includes Sarah Vargas from Columbia. Went to college here in the States, Wichita State, as did Chris Barnes. Not, at, not advancing will mean that she won't face, uh, not advancing will mean she will not face her uh, fellow Colombian, Clara Guerrero. They're very good friends and, and uh, are a formidable team. Clara will be uh, later on in a different bracket. There's Clara. 24 years old, just graduated from Wichita State herself. Another shocker alum out there, Chris Barnes of the bowling world. Trying to kick across deck to the seven pin, cannot. An open frame as the second match grinds to a halt. And Leanne has wrapped this one up. She'll certainly advance to the next round. And despite all the distractions of the small setting, she's been focused, Chris Barnes. Look at the lead, 61 pins. Yeah, she's she's on track, and this is really one of those things we said as the as it went on. She's a marathoner. She likes it when the lanes break down a little bit. Well, in the second match was an advantage for her. Uh, they seem to have gotten better as they've gone now, 
and she's pretty much right where she wants to be, and not to mention with the 61, 61 pin lead, uh, everyone wants to be there. Chris, is, the, is this a difference between women and men? And for a lot of men, when the lanes break down, they can go to their power game, where someone like Sarah, who relies on finesse, struggles with that. Well, it's certainly an advantage. I, I think that's you know, one of many reasons, aside from uh, her, Leanne's obvious talent, her ability to open up a lane condition and, and take advantage of that. Uh, like every athlete, athletic event, speed and power uh, is an advantage, and it's an advantage in this sport as well. There she is. There she is. Oh, she's lined up. <laughs> Unfortunately, about five frames later than she would have liked. Not exactly the desired timing. So Roger Dalkin, USBC CEO, helping us out. Leaves the seven pin again. And fortunately, that's the experience today, I think, uh, hurt Sarah. And, uh, she was not able to make the adjustments fast enough. That ball was just a little bit too early in the front, being a little bit lazy down the lane. And it's easier to see when you're sitting on the sidelines than when you're standing at the foul line. She probably could have used one more session with Rick and, uh, and got to the right ball. But see that. Leanne didn't leave much room. You see her personality come out, though. She waves to the crowd, and she knows, uh, she, you know, she understands what this event is, and she understands it's really a showcase uh, for bowling. And, she wants to be a big part of that. She wants to help women's bowling. She wants to help the sport. Good showing does win one game. But Leanne will advance to the next round. Convincing win again. Cross Liz Johnson 246 to 199 in our second match. And she'll have a very impressive margin of victory here in her second match as well. Wayne late in the match, very solid outing for her. And we know that Leanne Barrett's going to be in that final championship match in our, on the fifth week of this series. And uh, whoever else makes it knows they're going to be up against one of the greatest bowlers of all time. She had to be a pre-tournament favorite, even uh, with her first round matchup with Liz Johnson. You had to feel like the winner of that match had a real good chance to go deep in this tournament. Definitely. Well, guys, she told us yesterday in our interview with her that she was concerned about her competitive fire because she hasn't bowled on tour in so long, three years since the women's tour shut down.